10 Non-Obvious Signs That Your Kidneys Aren't Working Properly Our kidneys are vital to the proper functioning of our bodies, but did you know that most kidney diseases can develop without any visible symptoms? This is extremely dangerous as people sometimes lose 90% of their kidney function before some symptoms occur. In a less critical case, the absence of symptoms can lead to the late diagnosis of a serious chronic illness. Different problems connected with the kidneys affect about 14% of the adult population. They also lead to serious complications which include cardiovascular system disorders and frequent bone fractures. This is why it's so important to recognize a disease at its earliest stage. Here are some of the least obvious symptoms that can indicate kidney problems. 10. Itching and dry skin. Your kidneys are constantly working. They get rid of harmful elements, remove excess fluid from your body, take part in the production of blood, and support the body's mineral balance. They also help to keep your bones strong. Dry or itching skin, hyperpigmentation, rashes, and jaundice, an illness that affects the liver and makes the skin yellow, may indicate that your kidneys aren't working as they should. If you have extremely dry skin that itches, there's a chance that you suffer from a mineral and bone illness. This often goes together with kidney diseases when the kidneys can't support the popular balance of nutrients and minerals in the blood. Such unpleasant symptoms may also appear because of an excess amount of phosphorus that can't leave your body. One more reason can be an intoxication that occurs due to metabolism products. 9. Always feeling cold, no matter what the temperature. Many people know from their own experience that shivering, tiredness, difficulty breathing, insomnia, and weakness can all be signs of anemia. How is a lack of red blood cells connected with the kidneys? Well, kidney problems might slow down the production of the hormone erythropoietin. This hormone stimulates the production of red blood cells in the bone marrow. These blood cells later carry oxygen through your body. Therefore, chronic anemia may be a sign that the kidneys aren't functioning properly. In fact, it's bound to develop when a person has 20% to 50% of normal kidney functions. In a case where anemia is caused by kidney problems and a lack of erythropoietin, doctors prescribe special hormones. 8. Unpleasant breath Unpleasant breath can be caused by many different diseases, including problems with the teeth or stomach. But one of the most serious causes is a urinary tract infection. The main danger is that this infection can easily spread to the kidneys. When a person has kidney problems, their metabolism products don't leave the body as quickly as they should. They may go into the gastrointestinal tract and cause a metallic taste in the mouth and a faint smell of ammonia. See your doctor immediately if in addition to bad breath you experience a constant urge to urinate, pain in the pelvic region, fever, pain when you urinate. 7. Swelling Swelling happens due to an excess amount of water in intercellular spaces. At first, swelling forms near your feet, face, and eyelids but it can spread all over your body and it can develop very quickly. Swelling can often be accompanied by a pale face and dry skin, even if the skin's temperature doesn't change. If you press a swollen spot, you will see a mark that will disappear after several seconds. Other symptoms may be neurological, like sleepiness, migraines, and pain in the bones and muscles. Doctors think that swelling appears when there are too many sodium ions, which attract a large amount of liquid. If your legs swell at the end of the day, it's most likely a normal reaction of your body to standing or sitting for prolonged periods of time. But if the swelling is overly prominent and also accompanied by other symptoms, you should check that you don't suffer from chronic kidney disease. 6. Tachycardia an excess amount of potassium that sick kidneys can't get out of your body can have a negative effect on the cardiovascular system. In fact, potassium is extremely important for your body as it helps your muscles, nerves, and heart to function properly. It also controls the activity of muscles, such as the ones situated in the digestive tract. They are also called smooth muscles. 
Heart muscles and skeletal muscles also need potassium to work effectively. Electrical signals won't pass through the nervous system normally without this chemical element. If there's too much potassium in your system, it can lead to a disruption of your heart rate, which can be dangerous. An abnormal heart rate, or arrhythmia, means that your heart may beat too slow, then too fast, then completely stop for several moments. In most cases, arrhythmia can be controlled and successfully treated. However, sometimes this heart disease becomes fatal. Unfortunately, hyperkalemia, or high blood potassium, can only be recognized after you get the results of lab tests. The reason is that its symptoms are vague and easy to confuse with other diseases. 5. High Fever and Backaches An acute backache with a high fever, frequent urination, and vomiting are serious signs that may indicate that you have a kidney infection. Women are more susceptible to getting such an infection because of the way their urinary system works. If you have such symptoms, you should see a doctor immediately. A specialist will most likely prescribe you antibiotics and painkillers. If you don't treat a kidney infection immediately, it can lead to permanent kidney damage. 4. Muscle Cramps Chronic muscle cramps, not those that happen every once in a while, may indicate an imbalance of electrolytes in your body. This means that the level of electrolytes is either too high or too low. Electrolytes, such as potassium, magnesium, phosphate, calcium, and sodium, are elements and compounds in your body that control different physiologic functions. For example, magnesium and potassium play a huge role in the functioning of muscles. That's why any deviation from the norm will most likely lead to muscle cramps. But it's not only microelements that are to blame for muscle cramps. These unpleasant sensations can also be caused by an excess of liquid. Inflamed kidneys pressing on the nerve endings of the muscles surrounding them can cause such a painful reaction. 3. High blood pressure High blood pressure has a negative effect on your kidneys. It damages blood vessels, which can lead to kidney failure. When the blood flow is too strong, the vessels get stretched. This weakens them, making it harder for the kidneys to get toxins out of the body. An excess of liquid makes the problem even worse. According to NIDDK, the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, high blood pressure is one of the main causes of kidney diseases. 2. Panic Attacks Panic attacks happen for many reasons. Stress, chronic tiredness, and even genetics. However, if you often have such symptoms of panic as an increased heart rate, sweating, and sudden changes in blood pressure, this may indicate that you have an adrenal tumor, also known as pheochromocytoma. This condition is quite rare, but extremely dangerous. The tumor has similar symptoms to stress, constant headaches, frequent illness, lack of energy, insomnia, problems with the digestive system, and even depression. That's why doctors usually thoroughly examine people who have panic attacks. So don't be surprised if your psychotherapist recommends that you have a full examination. This is a good decision and one that might help identify a more serious disease at an early stage. 1. Skin Rash Kidney problems usually result in extra fluids in the body. If you have an excess amount of fluid, you will end up with skin rashes because the kidneys can't remove the uremic toxins out of your system. A rash often starts at your feet and spreads up to your arms, stomach, and, in extreme cases, ears. Sometimes this problem can be accompanied by a headache. Of course, in this case, treating the rash itself is of no use. You need to see a doctor to have your kidneys examined. How to find out if you're at risk? Nephrologists say that these factors put you at a higher risk of kidney disease. You have diabetes, you have blood pressure problems, you have heart problems, your relatives have kidney problems, you smoke or have excess weight, you are older than 60. If one or more of these statements are true about you, don't ignore any of the symptoms that we've told you about in this video. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Go and see a doctor. Let's check how many people take care of their health. How often do you visit your family doctor? If it's more than once a year, press the like button. 
If your visits are more than a year apart, write the word health in the comments below.